Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. In this video today I'm going to tell you how to download and install the Salty Boeing 747. It is actually the modified version of the default Boeing 747 which comes with the Microsoft Flight Simulator. When the Microsoft Flight Simulator was launched I did a tutorial for this Boeing 747 and somebody recommended me to use the Salty Boeing 747. At that time I think we had to download it from, from some third party uh, site and I was a bit reluctant in using any uh, add-on or any plane without uh, knowing that it really works properly. So I didn't download it. But a few days back I just discovered that uh, it is available in the Fly-by-Wire Simulations Windows installer and you can simply install the plane from there. I did a flight yesterday from Karachi to Dubai and I just really enjoyed it. It's not a study level plane. But it's a good plane to have because um, the best thing is about the FMC, the flight management computer. It is uh, fully functional, it's got almost all the features working in it. But if you talk about the controls of the plane, they are very nice, it's very easy to handle and everything is working perfectly alright. But most of the features in the cockpit, they are working but some features are not working, they are restricted. Maybe if there is some other modification for the Boeing 747 in the future in the market, it will be available to us. If you try to compare it with the capabilities of uh, the planes available as uh, Zebo Mod 737 or the PMDG 737 or you know, the Phoenix Simulations Airbus A320, it doesn't have uh, so much functionalities working, but still it's a very nice plane. Uh, yesterday, um, I was when I was doing a flight, the top of descent was also coming. Um, during the flight but it was uh, not a good calculated top of descent uh, so I had to use my instincts to uh, to, uh, to descend to um, uh, Dubai International Airport so I'm going to tell you in this video how you can download and install um, the Salty 747 in order to download and install the Salty 747 you should uh, go to uh, the site fly by wire simulations the link is given in the description uh, you have to uh, download the installer which is actually for the fly by wire airbus a320 neo so if you go to the installer you simply have to download and run the instance and once uh, this is uh, installed uh, the installer for the fly by wire airbus a320 just like the way you are seeing it on your screens uh, if you have already installed fly by wire this will be available to you but if you have uh, downloaded it for the first time you can also install the fly by wire airbus a320 by clicking this button over here which come as install so once you do this um, the fly by wire airbus 320 will be available to you and and the plus side the boeing 747 is also available it's a 0.51 um, uh, 5 point, uh, 0.5.1 <laughs> version available and you can install it it's the salty boeing 747 and um, I've done one flight uh, with this plane and I was really happy with it and the feeling of uh, flying the Boeing 747 it's a very different feeling all, all, obviously if you are flying the small planes and once you switch to the 747 you can really feel it in the simulations so once you have downloaded this plane it will be available in the Microsoft Flight Simulator and if you go here um, for me it was coming at uh, the very um, bottom of the list of the planes that I have so you can see salty simulations so um, uh, Boeing 747 so you can see salty simulations Boeing 747 so you can then select the plane and let's see if there are liveries available there are two liveries one is for the salty another one is for the uh, default Boeing 747 livery which comes with this plane so you can uh, fly the plane and you can just uh, enjoy some good flights with this plane so I hope this video was a helpful video for you and if you've got any questions do type your questions in the comment section I will be more than happy to answer to your questions uh, within time but if there is a delay kindly accept my apologies in advance if you've got any comments or feedback the comment section is there for you. With this I would like to end my video have a nice day hope to see you soon.